All right, Julian, so I got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? I was a Bay Area guy watching the Giants, so uh, Barry Bonds, uh, Richard Aurelia, Jeff Kent, uh, Rob Nen. I mean, a bunch of guys, a bunch of old school guys, but yeah, really good, fun teams back in the day. I love that, I love that. So if you could do your baseball Mount Rushmore of pitchers, and I put you on the spot for this, I do this to everybody. Four pitchers are going your baseball Mount Rushmore. Who would they be? How many I need? Four? They have four faces up there? Okay. Uh, for me, let's go Randy Johnson and Pedro. That's one, two. Man, I mean, just looking around the league now, you got to put the Grom on there. Another guy I look up to, and let's throw something way back. Maybe Roger Clemens on there, too, with all those Cy Youngs. I like that, I like that, I like that. So, I'm a video game player, and the first time that you saw yourself on MLB The Show, a video game, what did you think? See, I wasn't even playing the show, but I had my little nephews and cousins and brother tell me, hey, we're on the show, we're bitching with you. I was like, what's my rating? I was like making sure I was all right at the game. Like, oh, you're, you're okay, you're okay, you need to work on it, but, you know, we'll get better. I, I, I like that, I like that. So, I have this question where I, I, I asked you about walk-up music. So, like, you know, Edwin Diaz, he has this little thing that he does. But I got to ask you this, if it was a song named after you, you could pick any artist, dead or alive, to do your song, who would you want to do your song? To walk up to the mound. Like to anybody? Oh man, that's a good question, man. I like the oldies too, so I gotta probably pick some classic rock. I'll let you do a combination of different artists. If okay. You do like a big song. Okay. If I'm gonna go like classic rock, I'm gonna pick the Eagles. That's my that's my squad. If we're going more like '90s rock, I'm gonna go Red Hot Chili Peppers. I need them to write some some good stuff, get me going. Uh, we can switch genres, maybe. Uh, so you can blend it together. Rap, um, let's see, I'm a Bay Area guy, so I mean, not really known, but Andre Nicotina, he's pretty hardcore. I like. I would love to walk out to that if I could pull it off. Um, I'll give you those three. Okay, I like, that. I like that combination. So this is the Fanatics View question of the day. What is your favorite baseball movie of all time? See, I, I think about this all the time, but it always changes. Um, can I give you more than one? Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, so like, I feel like all time classic, I gotta say Sandlot. Just cause like, I feel like every scene in that movie is like a classic scene. Uh, but then like, I also, as I got older and went through the minors, watching Bull Durham, it's so relatable for a baseball player in that, in that uh, time that uh, I'd say that those two were up there. Okay, let's just say in a hypothetical world, from a movie standpoint, they needed to put the Blue Jays, but they couldn't use you as the person, but they had to use you. Who would you want to play you in a movie? That's it. That was, that was an easy answer. Easy. I like that. I like that. <laughs> hey, I like that. Okay. I like that. Okay. So when you look at this Blue Jays team, man, I mean, the talent, all the potential there. What do you see from you guys going forward? Oh man, the ceiling's so high on this team. Uh, I feel like there's still so much potential we still have. We obviously have a team that can win right now, and we're we're showing that. But man, it's exciting to see how much growth we still have as a team all all around. I like it, I like it. So for you as a pitcher, and back to the video game world, we call players creative players or cheat codes. But there's a guy in baseball right now, and I never thought in my lifetime that we would see it, a guy that could do both. Show your time. I'm pretty sure you had to face the guy before. What do you think about that, man? Because like obviously you you probably going up as well as all of us who play baseball, you have to play one position and stick to it. But you see a guy doing it at a high level. What do you think about that? Here we go, man. I mean, right out of high school, I thought I could play shortstop and pitch still. <laughs> I lasted two weeks, man. Two weeks out of high school. I like, get first taste of college, man, I was done after two weeks. So I don't think people realize how crazy it is. I mean, I know everyone says that, but it, it legit, it, unless you do it, you don't know how much it takes to be able to be that good at both sides of the ball, man. It's just insane. Like, so, so much respect. His, like, historic player, like, all-time great, honestly, just from what he's already done. I love it, I love it. Last question. So, let's say bottom of the ninth, this is the World Series online, you're guaranteed to get the out, and you can pick one all-time batter to face. From a historic standpoint, who would you want to face to get that out? Pitching, I can't hit. Uh, okay, well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll I'm side. kidding. Uh, man, I mean, I said Barry Bonds, so, so I'm gonna have to go right on left and, and see what I can do on Barry. So you want to strike out your your hometown team and lose? <laughs> it's a win-win. If I get the homer, they already knew it was coming. You know? Yeah. Okay, okay. And if you had a chance to bat, who would be the pitcher you want to face? Ooh, man. Wow, I feel bad for leaving him off my uh, route, Mushmore, route uh, Mount Rushmore. Obviously, being in Texas, probably Nolan Ryan. Just to uh, see that fastball and see what it looked like, that would be insane. All right, well, Julia, man, keep doing your thing out there. I appreciate your time, man. Good luck the rest of the season. Awesome. Thank appreciate you. It.